Hello everyone, my name is Fazan Jave and welcome back to another video. So you have been trying to make thumbnails on your phone, but you can't seem to remove the background to make some thumbnails like this or this. Well, this is gonna change today because I'll show you how to remove the background from your photos and make some stellar thumbnails using your iPhone. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So there are three things that you need for this tutorial. First, you need an iPhone. Second, you need an iOS 16 on your iPhone. And third, you need Canva to make your thumbnails on. So let's get to the next step, removing the background. Now take a photo of yours by pointing at something, something like this. And try to take it with a background where you can be easily be separated because you don't want the algorithm to pick up or miss out parts of your picture. A white background is an ideal choice for this process. So for this, we are using the visual lookup functionality of the iOS 16. So it's absolutely necessary for you to have it. Now open the picture you took and hold the subject until you see animation go away. Now we can take off our finger and you'll get an option of either copying the image or sharing it. Click share, scroll down and save it to your phone. Now you have a perfect image without a background. So now you have separated the background from your image, which is really good. You're halfway there, so just hang in there. Now the next step, downloading Canva. Just download Canva, make an ID. I'm not gonna show you how to do it. You should know how to do it. And then just open up the Canva application. Now click on this add button and search for YouTube. There you'll see an option of YouTube thumbnail with a size of 1280 by 720 pixels. Select this and it will give you a screen for choosing some ready-made templates. Well, you can use these as well, but for this, we'll make our own design. Now you'll be on the edit page. You can add some color to the background and then add your image to it and you can do so much more. But let's start with adding your image first. All you have to do is to go into the edit page options and then go to upload and there you can upload the image that you just saved to your phone. So yeah, we're almost done. We have added a title, we have added an image you can go ahead and add some elements to your thumbnail, which I think is really good option on Canva. You can add some arrows uh, when, you're, when you want to point at something. You can download some images from the internet and then you can upload it here on Canva and make those amazing thumbnails. And now when you're done making your thumbnail, just export to your phone. And yeah, you're done. Now you have a really good thumbnail without your background and have amazing title and you have some elements pointing at something. Okay, so this is for just an iPhone. You can use this iPhone, save it to the phone, and then transfer these photos on your laptop. And then you can use Pixlr to make some amazing thumbnails too. I think Pixlr is a great option if you want to use a free photo editor without having to pay a lot. You can still do quite amazing stuff with Pixlr. You can add some gradients, text, and a whole lot of stuff. If you want to see any tutorial for Pixlr, I'll be happy to make them. So just comment down below if you want to see one. Well, that's it for this video. I hope this tutorial was easy to follow and I hope you can make some stellar and really good thumbnails using just your phone rather than using any laptop or any tablet or something. So if you love the video, like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.